What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with more My Hero Academia. Today we're doing Season 7, Episode 19. Remember, if you guys want the full uncut version of this reaction, check out that Patreon link down below. And if you guys want to watch this live with me before they even go on Patreon, check out that Twitch, twitch.tv slash Dapper Darius. And if you guys could do me the huge favor of leaving a like on this video, as well as letting me know your personal review of this episode in the comments, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. Oh, even though they found the, the leak, he was able to sabotage. Shout out Tetsu, 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 Tetsu. I always say I love Class B getting some shine. Is that um Death Arms? He was so distraught after him retiring. And he... I like that. That was his name, right? Death Arms? He knows everything's getting... And he was there in episode one as well for episode two whatever that was love the call back to deku what is he gonna be like a nuke he's gonna use explode like a an electrode first Five kilometers is insane. I love the way they animated that. What the fuck sort of self nuke? I see. This is one thing I do love about a war arc. Is that both? It's such chaos. Both sides take so many L's. Both sides take so many dubs. Don't get me wrong, I love Ida, but we haven't had like a crazy Ida moment in a while. So, All Might's telling everyone what's going on. Letting everyone know how tense and how scary the situation is. I was just saying, Ida has to have a moment, or is he going to get us on the field? Okay, round two. Toya Todoroki. Shoto Todoroki. Our only hope. Shout out the Star Wars references. I love Horikoshi's love for Star Wars. Gunga is so far away and his engines are stalled. Had to put his mask on him. Shout out Ida. Such a classic My Hero Academia song. With Stain watching, with Ida and Todoroki being one of the ones who during this day I love the full circleness. Oh my. Okay. Motherfucking Ida, shout out to you, All Might. Re inspiring these young. He did send two kids into the heart of danger. We got young, all for one, and way too old, skinny, one for all? What the fuck is about to happen? That's a great callback of All Might fights all for one quirkless and lives up to Deku's own idea. Okay, Batman? I haven't heard him with the deep voice say I am here in fucking seasons. Come on. Don't cut to a commercial right now. Also, just to comment on last episode, what the fuck is that? I love how they made all four movies canon with the showing of the characters from the movies watching our heroes fight and continue on. I recognize the people from the first two movies. I've never seen movies three and four. I would love to. Bro, it went from fighting a normal villain to fighting a Resident Evil villain. What the fuck is Daffy right now? Like, it's crazy. Endeavor has skin with built-in heat resistance. And Daffy's burning him. And Daffy doesn't. Ooh, 
as the flower blooms and blossoms as he orgasms in my ear pause wait what oh i love that shot in his eye the reflection animation this episode has been incredible I love this shot of them having like a very intimate realization conversation, even though it's a split second anime time. Mm. He wants to atone. The only way he knows. Is he gonna bring Dabby into the sky and take himself out to save everyone else along with Dabby? Total Ray? She's actually here? Well, her skin is getting severely burned doing this. This animation is incredible, though. Are they here as well? Oh my lord. This could be the end of the whole Todoroki family. He's begging Dabby to at least let the rest of the family live. Just take me. Okay. We even got the Endeavor fanboy watching. I love that. Oh, I love how he says, don't worry, because he was the one who trained with Todoroki when he got his provisional. We got five Wii's on our side. Oh, my God. Transonic speed? Man's breaking the sound barrier. He literally made a fucking jet out of ice. Bro, they're going so fast, they broke their ice jet and their entire outfit. He broke all of his fucking engines. Ida, I give you some shit sometimes. You are a real one for that, my boy. And I love the callbacks with Stain, with the kids helping Todoroki. With Ida himself, man. Shout out, shout out season two. The whole Todoroki family turning around to see Shoto motherfucking running up is the last thing I expected this episode. Ooh. I love the shots of them being young again. Okay, Aokiji. Hit us with the coolest ice. With the most elegant looking snow <laughs> ice falling I've ever seen. That was amazing. Look at everyone. I do want to know the status of everyone, okay? Rei, Fuyumi, Natsu. Severely injured, but at least alive. It quite literally took the help of the entire Todoroki family. Look at how burned they are. With his hand on his heart, too. Like, don't get me wrong. Everyone hates Endeavor Season 2. Season 3, even. But if you don't think Endeavor is one of the most... Oh. With his tears freezing. I love that. If you don't think he's one of the best written My Hero characters... Come on. Oh, with his tears freezing, too. He's a man who drove himself to do horrible things and his relentless ambition to be number one, you know? Truly really goes to show how you lose your, yourself along. Oh, wow. Wow. That was a motherfucking episode. Holy moly. Okay. Fantastic episode. I love so many of the fights and obviously the character moments, the development, the climax, how it all turned out. But I think ultimately my favorite part of this moment or this fight was 
a lot of the callbacks throughout the seasons. Like I love Stain finally accepting Ida as, as doing something heroic for the sake of others and not himself. I love the kids who were won over by Todoroki who had already lost hope in the hero society in the seventh and third. Now keeping faith, letting, hey, no, don't worry. We still got this on our side, you know? And I love, uh, I'm just gonna call him Natsu even though Endeavor's son is Natsu, the guy who looks like Natsu from uh, uh, Fairy Tale, who was always Endeavor's number one fan. Still, no matter what, supporting to this day. I love a lot of the callbacks, <sighs> especially even uh, Todoroki and Ida helping, you know, Ida helping him out saying like, thanks to you, I was able now I'm gonna let you do the same thing. So it uh, was a great episode. Fantastic animation, fantastic music, moments. Every character had a little moment, even death arms at a moment. Like it does feel like and I say this with a grain of salt because you never know my hero. It does feel like the end of Oya, Dabby's character arc. Like Endeavor to me is similar to a levi character right i hope he gets to still atone to the end of his days but like retire as a grizzled veteran and you know i'm like it's like oh my god bro this i don't know i really i'm at a loss for words such a good episode hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like i said leave me a favor and leave a like on this video let me know your personal review in the comments down below check out that patreon if you guys want to get the full uncut versions uh I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Because you never know what might happen. I appreciate y'all. Seriously, have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.